I'm gonna need more. I'm gonna need more. All right, that'll be enough to get me through this game. <laughs> VR, virtual reality, virtual reality gaming, a gaming headset in virtual reality with no wires and something that is easy to set up, basically anyone can play. Who are you thinking of? Today's video is sponsored by Oculus. I'm gonna be testing out the Oculus Quest 2 today along with this new VR horror game, Wraith the Oblivion Afterlife. Before we get into it though, I'm gonna go ahead and unbox the Oculus Quest 2. Ugh. This thing's heavy. This is what I'm unboxing, the Oculus Quest 2. Um, I've never done an unboxing video. I don't think I have, so this is gonna be the first one. Wow! <laughs> Here it is, the Oculus Quest 2 in its box. And it's and it's very pretty, I gotta say. The packaging is very, very pretty. I've never gotten so many gifts before, so thank you so much. We got a stainless steel water bottle, perfect, because I am always drinking water anyway. You guys should probably hydrate. If you're watching this at home, please drink some water. So we got this, and it says play for real on it. That's so freaking cool. I got a t-shirt, I got an Oculus shirt. We've also got some sweatbands to match. And last but not least, I got a hoodie on it. Maybe I should just wear it for the rest of the video. I think I'm gonna do that. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is unbox this one. And then we got this box. And I want you guys to be the first ones to look at it. <gasps> look at that! All right, let's see what we got in here. Uh, this is probably the components that I'm gonna need later. These are the controllers, and obviously make sure you have these on. This is very important to attach the wrist straps. You don't want anything to go flying. And uh, they feel really good in my hands, actually. They feel really light. They don't feel heavy or anything like that. This is my first time using a VR headset from like a regular controller from any other console. It kind of gives me the same feeling of when you're holding a controller. So that's actually really good. This is a very important piece. If you're like me and you have glasses on and you need glasses to see, this is the spacer, which um, protects your eyeglasses. So you can actually wear them while you're using the headset, which I think is so amazing, especially for accessibility, for people who do need glasses like me to see, which I think is amazing. And last but not least, we have the beautiful headset. Look at that, it looks so good. And of course, let me get these out of the way. You can adjust this to your head and um, there's the inside with the lenses. So I'm gonna adjust this on my own head so you guys can take a look at what it looks like. Thank you to Oculus again for providing me with the Oculus Quest 2 headset. As you can see, there are absolutely no wires that you need to connect when using this. All you really need is the phone app and everything is already set up. The batteries are included in the controller. You can attach the glasses spacer to the headset and use it immediately. Oh my god, I am already uncomfortable. Hey internet, it's Jessica and welcome to Rate the Oblivion Afterlife. This is gonna be my official first VR video with my first VR game ever. I've never played VR before, I've never even had a headset on, so thank you once again to Oculus for sending me the Oculus Quest 2. And I gotta say, this is actually amazing <laughs> for be being my first VR. Like, if I wasn't scared, I, I'd be more like, wow, you know what I mean? But I'm actually terrified. Look, look, look at that sky. That doesn't look, you know, uh, ominous whatsoever. Today we're playing Wraith. Uh, we play as a character named Ed. He is on a seance with his wife because uh, they got called here by a rich man. I don't know exactly who it is, but they wanted a seance. They did the seance and something terrible happened to them. And we basically have to find out what happened. And I'm kind of worried because this does not look like a nice place. Hello? Why is it so dark? <laughs> Barkley Mansion. The place where I died. I'm dead? No. No. I'm dead? Why? What happened? Oh, oh, that's me. Everyone Ed must Miller. pay. Hey, what happened to me? Was I stabbed? Why did I die? Oh no. Oh, please. Who's crying? 
crying. I don't like this. Please stop. I, I, I'll do anything. I, I don't want to die. What? Wake up. Who's talking? Oh, hell no. Who's that over there? Oh, whoa. Oh. <gasps> What happened to my hand? What is that symbol? Do you guys see that? That doesn't... Why does it look like, um, you know the Harry Potter symbol? What is that called? The Deathly Hallows? <laughs> that's what that looks like. Whoa, that's actually cool though. I can see my actual, like, arms. What? That's crazy. Okay, well we have a gaping wound there. That's not good. Who's that guy? That's, that's who I want. I don't want to go over there. Are you nice? Um, are you friendly? Because, uh... <sighs> please don't attack me, please. I just got here, I don't know what's going on. Apparently I'm dead, so... <laughs> Did he just like take a dive into the floor? What? Where'd he go? Excuse me, sir, I was talking to you. Hello? What? Okay. Why did, I, did you guys hear that? Oh god, I'm gonna be jumpy throughout this entire video. I am so sorry. I'm gonna try my best to get through this. Because, you know, I'm getting better at playing horror games, so this should be like a piece of cake for me, but I have a feeling it's not. So Why are the rocks moving? the photographer. Welcome to Crazyville. Oh, okay. Who are you? Why does everyone disappear before they answer me? I don't, I don't like that either. At least give me an answer before you go, please. Wait, can I pick these up? Can I pick you up? <gasps> I can pick up a rock. Wow. Can I bring this with- I need to carry a weapon. You know what? I don't have like a weapon or anything. We're bringing this rock with me. I don't care. If I gotta smack someone over, over the head, I'm gonna have to do that. <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> Okay. Oh, I mean, I can, can I physically crouch? Oh, I can. That is so cool. I can physically crouch and go under. Wow. You see how amazed I am at VR? <laughs> That's so cool. Ah! Are you nice? You're blind. Or That's just blue. ignorant. You have a talent, boy. Damn it, I missed. <laughs> Your camera sees things. Things the rest of us have only dream about. Camera? Camera sees things. We're probably gonna have to like, do photography or something like that. Cause in seances, and from what I know, aside from doing like the, the whole, um, you know, circle to open up the portal, sometimes people do flash photography or videography in order to capture some spirit. I know some things cause I used to watch a lot of like, you know, ghost hunting shows, even though I know a lot of them were like fake, but I, I remember watching those. Oh, I did it! Oh, cool! I have the force! Yo, am I a Jedi too? This is so cool! Alright, let's go. <laughs> That's actually really cool! Oh, it has this. Can, wait, can I do the Jedi thing again? Wait, let me do it again. That's so cool! <laughs> oh, wait, I didn't catch it. So we can, we can run if we have to. That's not a good sign, though. When you're telling me to run, that means danger's happening, right? I gotta say, like, for my first VR headset, this is actually very comfortable. I don't know how to describe it. Like, it does feel like I'm there, but I don't feel uncomfortable. I actually feel very comfortable in this. Okay, is this the exit? Okay, everyone. Close your eyes. Can you stop appearing out of nowhere? Okay, I'm closing my eyes. I'm closing my eyes. To the spirit world. Why is that lady the last person? She seems like she's gonna be the bad guy. That lady or the old man in the wheelchair? No, he told me about the photography, so maybe he's not. That guy in the beginning? The bald man? Was that a bald man? I don't know who that was. Whoever. Oh, we're back. I... Okay, I'll see you guys later. I'm going, um, I'm going this way. <laughs> All right, I can do this. God, you guys better watch this freaking video. I'm about to have a heart attack. <laughs> So people actually live like this? Oh, is that so me? Thanks for showing the truth about LA nightlife, Mr. Fancy Photographer. <sighs> Maybe it's time for some truths about the rich and famous.
I like his hair. <laughs> but that's our white right there. White. I'm not so sure about those edges. Anyway, if it pays the bills. Okay. Let's see what this billionaire nut job wants from us. Okay, I'm starting to understand a little bit. I mean, this is their. Ed, come find me. What the? F what is that? Uh, okay, bye. I'm going. See you later. I'm not. You can find another seance person. I'm going back. Oh my god. But what I was trying to say was clearly these these people don't see it as like a, a mystery or an adventure. This is their job. Obviously, they're ghost hunters or um, what is the official title? It's not ghost hunters. I, I think you have something else. What is it? Someone remind me. I'm too scared to like remember at the moment. What the? Oh, uh, why did you close? Oh god, it's all locked. Okay, I, I guess I'm screwed. <laughs> if I end up talking too much in this video, please know it's because I'm very scared. When I talk more when I'm scared. Could you at least turn on some lights, please? Please? Oh no, it's it's when you get closer the lights turn on. Oh great. Is this guy like a, like a film director or something? Or a film critic? Because it looks like there's a bunch of movie posters all over the place. So maybe he works in film, which explains why he could be a billionaire. I just wanted to see my mark clearer. Yeah, it looks like a freaking, um, Deathly Hallow. Oh god! And the cast grows. Are you also here to bask in the glory of Howard Barkley? Howard Barkley? here to meet you. Don't worry. He's cooped up in his sick room and will probably not die before giving you a proper welcome. Oh, so he's sick. Well, so, I guess it explains the wheelchair, but you know, th anyone could be in a wheelchair. Welcome to Crazyville. Hi. We did the rest of the cast. Top why did you, why did you cut my wife off shit. like that? Excuse me. Hi. Uh, glad you could make it. And let's not forget the queen of mediocrity, Miss Medium Walters. That's the lady it's we saw. Me. I don't trust her. She seems weird. Nice to meet you. You're here to photograph the séance, right? Yeah. I like your shoes, but you're too nice. Like the rest of us. You and that guy, I don't trust. Like the rest of us. Those two, I don't trust. The man in the the glasses, he seems no, like he's kind of. Son goes right. Ed is dead. Welcome what? to the afterlife. Okay, but do you have to talk to me like that? Like, come on now. Oh. What is up with these creepy pictures? Can you like put something nice on the wall? What's that? Foyer. Oh, this is a save point. Okay, well, thank you for giving me the save point at least. Game save. Thank you. Can oh. You feel it? The energy coursing through you. You're different now. I am? Did I level up? Refined, sharper. You can see and hear everything if you want it back. Look at that picture, that's not good. Try and use it. See if you can find me. Maybe it will make you feel less useless. I don't want to find you if you talk like a demon voice. Can you talk normally, sir? Jesus. Anyway, you have learned sharpened senses. The heartbeat indicates the direction to objective senses nearby enemies. Highlights important. I oh, so it can tell me if there's something bad happening or if I need to find something. So that's uh, B and Y. Oh, my controller is vibrating. So that's interesting. So I have to go that way out the door, clearly. I just want to preface right now. I do believe in ghosts and stuff like that. So this is freaking me out. This is like another layer of like freaking me out. Did that door open? Oh god. I know this game is primarily focusing on story. Um, the atmosphere is just to be creepy. It's not It's not exactly survival horror, but like I said, it doesn't matter. This is scary because it's VR. This is how you walk, right? Is that a dead body? <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna make a fist, just in case I have to punch a ghost or something, or a demon, let's be honest here. 
What's up, bro? Are you just hanging out? I'm not, if you're napping, I'm not gonna bother you, you know what I'm saying? You can take a nap. <laughs> oh my god, why? Can I just like be, can it just be like, you know, I'm dead, it sucks, it's unfortunate, let's just keep it that way, you know what I'm saying? What is up with a hole in the wall? Is that normal? What? Where'd he go? I don't like that. I'm not a fan of this. I'm not a fan of this. I hate the- oh, the door is locked. Perfect. Oh, it's a bathroom. Oh, I was gonna- I was hoping I could look at myself in the mirror, but I don't think so. Can I pick up the toilet paper? Wait. No! I can't pick it up! Why? I want to bring it with me as a weapon! I don't have the rocks anymore. Oh, gosh. Oh, now that's open. Of course it is. I'm gonna do it. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Um, hi, I'm Ed. I'm here to find out what happened to my bot. Okay, that was unnecessary. Uh, I don't see anyone, but you, that's probably a lie because there's someone in here. I know there's someone in here. You, you can't trick me. Okay, um... I, ha I have to go look through things, don't I? Oh, God. Alright, let me use my senses. Oh, I did find something. Hey! October 2004. Hi again, Dave. I hope you're well. I know how I've always said that fortune favors those who just never give up. Guess what? Today my work paid off. I've signed for a small role in Elegant Pictures movie. It's a bit iconic. I will play a waitress. I only have a few lines, but the hero gets to save my life. So there's that. I wish I could tell you who will play the hero, but if I told you, I'd have to kill you. <laughs> I'm dead. Tell mom I love her and that I haven't forgotten about the loan. This could be a start of something. Huh. Okay. Oh, that's cool! You can put the inventory like that? Oh, actually, that's really helpful. Who, whose letter is that? Clearly, I don't think that's the guy, the old man who hired us. Doesn't sound like an old man would write something like that. Oh, God, why did my controller vibrate? What is that? Regain corpus. What does that mean? Corpus? Wait, I can't see what it is. Oh, is this health? It looks like a heart. Okay, I'm gonna put that there for now. I, I, can I not put that in my inventory? No? Alright. Bourbon. Whiskey. Okay. I don't know. Do you get drunk? Because I feel like I should. I don't think I can touch that. I don't know what that is. Okay, we're gonna keep moving. Yo, there's another one there. What does that mean? What is that noise? Please stop. Uh, can I take this? Okay, my weapon. Oh. It sounds like a party. Uh. Oh, damn it! <laughs> it broke! Y'all having a party in here? Alan Vincent, Time Storm. A century-spanning love story. Alan Vincent is extraordinary. The tension is nil. Yeah, so I think he's like a- he's like an actor. Okay, so he's not a director, he's an actor, right? He's a lead actor. Oh, that explains why he's a billionaire then. He's a rich man. You guys like clean up in here? What's happening? Yeah, you wouldn't believe the size of this place. It's crazy. Ma'am, please! And the people? You'll never guess who I just talked to. Uh, that guy on the poster, okay. Alan? Guess. Isn't that cool though? Anyway, I gotta go. Time to mingle, say hello to people. I'm not too comfortable with that part yet. I agree. Yeah, I'm like that too. Uh, bye! Have fun at your party. I'm not good at talking to people either, especially at parties. I'm not like a party person. I'm really paranoid like someone's gonna be behind me um, later on, so stop. Okay. Good party. Oh my god, you need to stop appearing in front of me like that! <laughs> I like the uh, artists that show it as it is in reality, you know? <laughs> this guy, yes. I feel like he's okay. Reality. It always finds a way to disappoint. That's Alan, right? I think that's I Alan. Mean, I, I can find you 
other stuff, too. I've got great connections. Great connections. He's, Alan seems like the type, this is what I'm getting from his personality at the moment. He seems like the type of person who is very high maintenance, also hard to please, because clearly he's treating whoever that guy is. I, I, I don't know if he's like an assistant or something. He's treating him poorly. So he's not going to be a nice man. But that, is he the ghost that Elizabeth was talking to me earlier? Because I don't like that. All right, let me mingle over here. Can I, can I, uh... They gave this to me. Oh. I don't know what to do with it. But it's the time compass from our movie. Oh no, that's Alan. Wait, then who's the other guy? Who's that? I'm confused you know with people. What? I think you should have it. What? Aww. Seriously? <laughs> yeah, it's yours. Okay, so if that's Alan, who's the grumpy old man over there? His boss? His agent? His dad? Maybe it's his dad. I'm gonna need more. I'm gonna need more. All right, that'll be enough to get me through this game. <laughs> I'm gonna just walk normally. Yup, yup. This is fine. Totally fine. Um, can we go in here? Oh, it's locked. I need library. I met this lovely lady earlier. You should meet her too. I think I know who you're talking about. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> I bet you did. What? Let's talk more in the library. Less people there to listen in. Go get the key from the service staff. Should be on one Why of the Why are you all being creepy? What? Okay, I don't like that. Why are you being creepy now? And the music stopped playing. Okay, I'm back to being uncomfortable. Give me this. Just in, just in case I need to fight someone, I can throw it at their head. Dude, go- I- this is gonna work- Te technically I'm a ghost. <gasps> He's not okay. Why did I ask that question? Can I, I missed. Is <laughs> I just wanted to see what would happen. Why are you up there, though? Who are you? Why what? Why didn't you speak to me, Dad? Oh no. Yo, Alan, do you have a son or something? What? No. 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 Oh my god. Okay, I have to find this key. It's on the cart, right? I didn't see a key when I was walking past this. Is it like in a bottle or something? That is so creepy. Maybe it's like in a bottle. Hang on. Damn it. Okay, clearly not. Are you all right over there? Oh, there. There we go. Oh, that's locked too. Oh, great. Okay. Do I even want to go back out there? Because I heard noise. All right, I'm bringing the bottle with me just in case we gotta. F He's not there anymore. Where'd he go? Sir, you better not be chasing me. I have a bottle. I won't miss this time. I will throw it at you. Where'd he go? I am uncomfortable again. You can still see the rope up there, too. Why are you there now? In the way of which I need to go! Why? Sir, can you stop teleporting? 
I get it, you want to talk to your dad, but this isn't the way. I keep messing. Make it stop. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Sorry, 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 sorry. Jesus Christ. I need to get out of here, bro. find out we're getting out of here screw that okay this seems normal it's probably not again it's always a seance pictures what is that a tree ew it moves sir you have a giant moving tree in your freaking home i don't know if you know this okay anyway i have to pick up this thing Okay. Okay, Mr. Barclay, the new alarm systems are now functional in the library. Your precious books are safe. The doors can be locked, unlocked from the terminal in your panic room or one of the library. Uh, the temporary code is 1379. 1379, where's the, th is this it? What? Is someone there? Hello? Can I like, you know, give me this book? Oh my god. There's two locked doors. Does it matter which way I go? I don't think it matters. Hello? Please don't jump out at me. That's all I'm asking. Please don't. Oh god. <laughs> into the tempest my health i'm assuming which is why we found the picture with the heart on it so that's probably like health i don't think i can go in there in here hello any demons in here <laughs> what is that i keep seeing that thing like that floating thing i'm sweating right now i'm still scared i don't know if anyone else is scared watching this but i'm still scared Oh, yo, why is it dark in here? You will turn on some lights? Jesus. Okay, we're gonna go this way. I don't know where to go. Actually, I have my heartbeat. Right? Here? I think. Who's that? Who are you? Are you the man hanging from the tree? Oh my god. Are you sleeping? Can you not see me? Or, or is this the, like the specter who will chase you? God, just a bit slowly? Bro, what happened in here? They're like... Everything's like knocked over. What happened? And blood on the ground? What's that about? Why is there so much blood? Why? Look at that! You're not gonna attack me, are you, sir? 
Maybe I can go to this door? I'm just moving slowly because I'm not sure. Sir? What's the matter? Don't you recognize yourself? What? Don't you? That's me? He is wearing a green jacket. Honestly, Am I Voldemort? <laughs> okay. Barkley invited us. The sick old man was afraid of dying. He wanted to understand okay. the ever after. There was a seance of sorts. Yeah, I see that. What happened. But here we are. Sir, don't do the demon voice. Oh, that is such a cool animation. There are memories lingering. The lost and lonely souls of the Shadow Ranch. Maybe you can invite them back. Get them to I don't want to invite them to demons, no thanks. Also, how to get the hell out of this place. Okay. Okay. Camera. Dad gave it to us. You have picked up Relic Camera, a gift from your father. Always have it with you. I was hoping it would like show a picture or something. Okay. I have a quick menu now. Ah, uh, that's cool. Okay. I have to take a picture of. Oh, so that's what that's for. Okay, okay. These things that I keep seeing, we needed the camera. Use the camera to reveal discarded memories. Oh, perfect! Same point! Is this all my stuff? Like, what, what is that about? Is that all my stuff? Where'd he go? What? Seriously, you don't even tell me where to go next. I hate this dude. And that is myself, technically. Okay, that's locked. Okay, let's go back in here because there was a floating thing. Yeah, here. This thing. Okay, let me bust out the camera. Jesus Christ, Meadow. What fucking links will you go to make a buck? Get off your high horse, Alan. You're no better than me. Hey, look. The old man has clearly lost it. But we both need something from him. Yeah, his money. What I'm oh. saying is... None of us stand to gain anything from you giving him a heart attack during your play act seance. I've got this. Don't you worry, your pretty okay. little head. So that's Alan. That's th the old man is his father. This is the media. Maybe we need to remind me. Why are you talking to me? The events that led up to this seance. See if you can make more use of your new toy. Okay, Jesus. But the, the, also I'm right not to trust the medium, she's shady! She just wants his money! So are they planning, were they planning on killing the dad just so that they can get, like, money? Alright, what's in this room? Your TV is broken, sir, and there's another- what is this supposed to be? I'm glad you came. I know this isn't your typical thing, Ed, but ooh, it's gonna be worth it. Look, the old man is a bit nuts, and he might say stuff that you know, makes no sense to you, but... We're gonna do this, and then we're leaving. Tonight? No, we're here for the weekend. Me and Rachel are leaving L.A., Tom. It's time to try something else. Oh. So they weren't okay. So they weren't. Return to the place of the seance. All right, I'm coming. So they weren't here because of a job. They were here because of a favor. No, no wonder they were just like, oh, it's a, it's money. Who cares? At the beginning, when the wife was like, it's okay, it's just money. You're bringing a knife, Tom. What the fuck okay, is that? Man. Close your eyes and open. Was that a demon? Did no one see that? Or is everybody? To the spirit world. That's what they said in the tutorial thing. 
What is happening? Meadow, you tell me right now what is going on. Is she all right? Oh, boy. Uh-huh. There's still a lot you don't know about me. So that was my first experience using a VR headset. This was such a fun experience. Honestly, even though I was playing a horror game and obviously I was terrified, I still had so much fun. It was easy to use, no hassle setting this up, basically no wires. I appreciate the fact that this is so comfortable as well as also someone who is wearing glasses. I, I, can, I can just literally put the headset on with my glasses on i don't need to take them off and i can still see which is amazing for accessibility there's also a bunch of other accessibility options within the games and the oculus quest 2 itself so it'll make sure that you're comfortable i didn't feel any motion sickness or anything like that which is something else i was worried about as well and like i mentioned during the unboxing the controllers are very similar to how it would feel holding a console controller where the weight is not too heavy but also it just feels right because sometimes some gaming controllers don't feel comfortable in your hands but i can just tell you right now these are very comfortable they're very easy to use and it's, it's pretty simple especially if you're a gaming veteran like me it's very simple to use if anyone is looking to get into vr or try it for the first time i would definitely recommend the oculus quest 2 just because of all these pointers like i mentioned it's easy to set up comfortable there's accessibility in it and also it's actually at a good price considering how expensive gaming can be especially within the vr genre it can be pricey but i think what oculus has done create a headset where it's affordable and anyone can use it. So that was my experience with the Oculus Quest 2 and also playing Wraith right the Oblivion Afterlife. If you guys are interested in picking up yourself an Oculus Quest 2, please check out the link in the description for more information. Thank you once again to Oculus for sponsoring this video and also providing me with a headset. This has been an amazing experience. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!